guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel in today's video guys we're going to cover the top three reasons why your cruise control doesn't work and that guys car not just mazda we will be demonstrating on a mazda but it will work on any car guys the top three things why your cruise control doesn't work and we'll show you guys how we're going to test some of them and how we're going to let you know if, uh, if that's the case with yours or not now Cruise control guys, pretty convenient, but uh, it's a complicated system that works together with the traction control system and the brake, uh, brake system as well. Especially on the newer vehicles, it gets even more complicated. Now, before we start guys, let me introduce you to the channel. We have more than 200 videos on uh, this car and every car we get at the shop guys, because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below guys and let us know if the video was helpful or if you want to see anything specific so let's start on it now so this is guys the vehicle we're working on and let me explain now to you okay the equipment that we'll be using guys okay uh, I'll just share a few scanners with you I'll have the links in the description of the video below you can check them out but uh, the top okay the top number one reason why cruise control doesn't work guys this is a bad bad brake light switch okay brake light switch where is the brake light switch located it's usually located on the brake paddle uh, above the brake paddle somewhere what the brake light switch does okay when you press your brake paddle it detects that uh, movement and it's activating the tail lights and it also guys tells the uh, cruise control okay to turn off uh, because you hit the brake so that way the car does not keep accelerating now I remove that plastic right here on that Mazda guys usually you have a plastic or something like that covering the brake paddle so you won't be able to see but I removed it and I can show you now okay this thing right here this is your brake light switch check out what will happen when I press the brake paddle you can see how it releases and then when I let go okay it contacts the switch now how you guys know if that switch is good or not uh, they're sometimes really hard to okay hard to test because some of them have multiple wires so uh, it's really really hard sometimes to test them with uh, multimeter voltmeter but what i'll be using guys okay this is one of the computers that we'll be using today you can do it with that one you can do it with that little guy okay that thing is super powerful scanner guys this scanner you can read the lead codes from any computer in your vehicle any module and it works on any car, not just, let's say, Mazda or BMW. You can see all the makes that this thing supports. Okay, it's simply, guys, simply amazing for the price. You can find the link in the description of the video below. And I'll show you guys. Okay, this thing is a little bit less expensive, but you can do quite a bit of things with it as well, and I'll show you what. That's what we'll be using now, so if you guys decide to get something like that, you don't have to spend so much money, okay? Uh, but okay just fixing something guys one time and you can pay one of those off and have it for future repairs instead of going to the dealership so let me explain now what we'll be doing so I'll go ahead and turn the okay I'm going to turn the ignition on okay like that ignition is on okay and this is uh, the computer here now let me show you what you can do you can read and delete codes from the engine computer ABS and traction control computer also SRS means airbag you can register batteries you can do quite a few things guys let me just scroll down so you can uh, check out some of the functions what I'll go now to will be ABS and SRS we're going to enter this one this is Mazda so we'll select Asian and now we're going to scroll down until we find Mazda click here okay now it's loading the data and it may take a little bit of time guys and I'll show you how we're going to test the brake light switch make sure you stand to the end because it could be two more things for of course it could be way more than that but two, two of them are the most common reasons okay for cruise control not to work so the vehicle is not equipped with uh, B, BSM BSM guys uh, this is the uh, blind spot monitor system it may ask you questions like that so okay what I'm going to do now advanced keyless entry we say no because our just has a regular key you can see it's not a push start button does the vehicle have a tire pressure monitor yes it does okay so we're going to answer that question quick and now it gives us all the information here for that Mazda as you can see we're going to click yes to confirm and now we'll go to control module 
enter and here guys we're going to select ABS brake system it will take just a little bit of time until it communicates with the car computer and we'll be ready to go and see how we're going to test the brake light switch on that Mazda guys and tell you uh, if that's, uh, that's the cause for the cruise control not working now people sometimes will replace the switch because it's cheap and you may want to do that even without testing it uh, we will have guys link in the description of the video below that uh, you can see where we get our parts from for a good price fast shipping so check it out it's definitely guys for your convenience listed there so now we are going to click guys okay uh, live data live data select this one and after we select it okay it's going to load all the parameters that we can check out under ABS and brake system so this may take just a few a few more seconds but usually not so much you can see each one of the uh, components or you can just click select all like I do view the data and now check this thing out guys the third one in our case yours might be a different position it says brake on and off or you might say brake switch ours it says it's off now guys okay that's the value that we have and uh, let me see if I can select this one okay like that to be white so you can see it and I'm going to press the brake pedal now and check it out it's going to say on off on so that's a good brake light switch okay if it's not the brake light switch then what it is guys uh, second most common reason for cruise control not to work guys is the buttons okay people will press those too much or sometimes they will spill something or when they clean their vehicle okay clean their steering wheel or something they will get them when they will quit working or let's say you're drinking and you're having a drink or something driving down the road hit a bump you can spill something on those and eventually in the future they may quit working now that's another reason uh, you can usually test steering wheel buttons and all that stuff okay with a little computer here so that could be done through it but on a Mazda guys usually uh, and Ford vehicles many vehicles nowadays if you click on button you can see that it activates on and off you can see the light that says cruise control is on okay right there and then I turn it off turn it on so that definitely guys okay definitely uh, is not the case in our case so what else it could be guys if the cruise control doesn't work third most common reason guys is a bad uh, speed sensor or ABS sensor now but when you if you have one of those sensors, guys if the a, one of the ABS sensors okay usually you have four of them one on each wheel is bad you're going to get a brake light or ABS light on the uh, on the dash you might even get a traction control light because of that so if you guys have any light such as brake light ABS light traction control light most likely guys your cruise control will not work because all that operates together so hopefully guys the video will be helpful please guys hit uh, that subscribe button for more videos and see you guys next time